this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today we're covering quick tips on how you can transition your look to fall. Always a hard thing to do when the temperatures might be really hot outside and muggy, but you still want to have that fall aesthetic going forward. So these tips are great for both men and women and can be kind of easily interspersed in with your summer style staples and how we can pair in those fall pieces. The first thing for both men and women is wearing white jeans, which can really be a style staple for year round. But the key thing with wearing your white denim is pairing it with the appropriate tight thing. For men, that might be instead of wearing it with sort of a summer t-shirt or with a button-down shirt that's lighter or a linen piece, for fall you want to transition that to pairing that with a fall-colored polo shirt, a Henley shirt. You can do a button-down shirt, which looks great, but still cuff the sleeves, roll that up, and then also think about how can you intersperse or wear other shirts underneath of that, kind of layering your look as well. Um, for women, you can do this by pairing your white denim. For example, I have on white jean shorts today, but pairing those also with fall colored pieces. So those in sort of that olive, navy, mustard, burgundy, or merlot, those kind of color tones are always great for fall. You can also intersperse in some of fall's trends. So animal prints, always a big one. This year, leopard is everywhere. Um, but interspersing those in, and then also with wearing light knit pieces. So short sleeve or sweater tops, there's lots of sleeveless options out there. Those really transition and look great with white denim for men and women. The second thing is your shoes. One big style mistake that I see people making is that they're still wearing sort of their summer sandals or they're wearing pieces that have sort of that wrong texture. So for men, you might want to pack away those canvas, your kind of boat shoes, that type of thing, and transition into instead wearing um, espadrilles are a great option. You can get into some woven drivers, which look really great. You want to go full fall aesthetic then pair you know you could pair your white jeans and then pair those with a brighter colored um, oxford or you can pair that with suede loafers really easily to sort of change that up you can also always pair your denim or your pants with um, sort of that more sort of fall colored aesthetic for your sneakers so those that are more of a deeper colored leather or those that might be suede or have an interesting texture fabric. Look for those kind of things in your shoes. For women, it's kind of packing away that sandal and those lighter colored pieces if you have pastel high heels or kind of that really overly strappy sandal doesn't transition well into fall. Instead, you can change that by wearing open-toed booties um, you can add in sort of that textured piece in your high heels, which looks great. There's lots of snake skins and interesting leathers. There's suede. Lots of pieces that really are in sort of that summertime sandal that transitions into a fall, kind of an open-toed booty, which looks great. Um, then the next thing I would say is you really need to also transition your accessories. So think about pieces that you wear typically in summertime. So for men, that might be sort of your lighter print ties, or it might be that you have white sunglasses, or those that have that really sort of, um, kind of that, the bright blue or bright coral, those kind of colored lenses. That really is a better look for spring and summer. And then you transition instead to wearing more of like tortoise shell, or stick into a metallic hue or dark black oversized sunglasses always look great. Aviators are always the style staple for men. And then also think about what can you do in terms of your other accessories as well. So simple things like adding bracelets on with your watch, that can give it if you're looking at stone pieces or those that have kind of a darker color tone, those always look great. 
Um, it's really about what you're switching your accessories to so it doesn't give sort of that summertime color and or that summertime vibe. Floral is a piece that is transitioning from season to season. But think about your floral accessories that you might have. For example, if you're having a floral lapel pin, is that in a fall color tone? Which is what you should be doing. For women in terms of accessories, Think about your handbags, that's the first thing. Put away those woven pieces, those kind of brighter summertime hues. Instead, look for fall handbags that are in sort of the really deep, rich leathers. Lots of the camel tones, the merlots, the navies, the olives. There's lots of the snakeskin and animal skin. All of those look great and transition well for handbags. Then you can also think about your jewelry pieces. So kind of putting away the raffia, the big floral earrings that were huge for spring and summer, um, and really looking at sort of your necklaces, your old jewelry, and think about how will that look with your fall pieces, your wardrobe and your clothing that you're gonna be wearing. And does those sort of the metallic hues are great for the upcoming season. Black and white is always a solid neutral, but we'll stay away from sort of the raffia or the woven pieces and instead transition it into something more like feathers, which are great for fall and winter. So we hope those style tips help you to transition your clothing, your shoes and accessories, and we'll catch you on the next segment. See you then.